Before you lies a primitive altar to the Seven, apparently constructed during a bygone era. Something about it appeals to you, a faint heat emanating from the stones, perhaps. Gentle heat warms your hand. The stones appear to be just that. Apart from a few faded red stains across the topmost slab, nothing unusual betrays itself. The air stirs, as though someone had appeared and taken a seat upon the altar. A voice rises around you, its source unclear. Fractured whispers surround you. God woken. The word flutters against your ear. You are my champion. You cannot fail. A jolting sensation pierces your heart. As the shock fades, you realize you've absorbed a modicum of source, seemingly from the air around you. The whispers shuffle away, and the air shifts. Whatever was here a moment ago is gone now. The altar lies in silence. in the magic has produced. Kill the w -w wizard That's right, Coco! Doubt will serve you ill before the magic cockroach. None to talk to Before you, a statue reaches as you step close.
History? History is written by victors. Do not doubt. Our divine order will prevail. I'll... I'll show you. Yes, yes, of course.
I should certainly hope so. Send the little blob my way next time you happen. I see you, but you are no elf. This place is not for you. Its trial is not for you to attempt. Very well. You may face the trial. You shall learn all that you need to know. Show patience. Elves know that nature is a finer weapon than even the sharpest blade. The Four Seasons have served our people well. Four heroes rest before you, wielders of the seasons. Pay homage to their skills, solve their riddle, and prove yourself worthy of elven respect, if you can. Winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles, the sky lit aglow. Summer burns, air fiery as a harp. Spring quenches with bloody rebirth. I am the voice of the fire. My flame bears the will of all the elves and lights the way for those who wish to prove their mettle. The totem is still and silent. The totem stands dormant. I see you, but you are no elf. This place is... I see you. The trial remains. Winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles, the sky lit aglow. Summer burns, air fiery as a harp.
The totem is still. I see you. Winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles, the sky lit aglow. Summer burns, air fiery as a heart. Spring quenches with bloody rebirth. A lake of death fog, and the bridge appears to be down. Someone wants to discourage visitors. There must be a way across.
Look out. I see a trap nearby. seem to have made it. What lies ahead looks even less welcoming. What's that smell? Something delicious. Where? Close. Watch it. But not for you, for Master. Maybe the river could be crossed on that. Ten thousand masks of cowardice, each and every one of them. He'll carve them all, one by slowly, one into your quivering flesh. He can do what he will. But one day, I see a cage, one will name and there's something. In the darkness of the woods, you spot a man overlooking a cage that holds creatures crept from a nightmare.
Despite the all too unsettling nearness of these horrors, he looks poised, regal even, and wholly at ease. Go on. Step in from the shadows. Let's have a look at the wanderer lost in the woods. There is much weakness in the revelation. What upper hand you had, you've lost. He eyes you with a sudden intensity, makes you feel like a weight upon a scale, balanced against an unknown measure. I stand corrected. It is in the revelation that you show your upper hand. He sighs, contentedly it seems, darts his eyes to the demons, then back to you. The roads are rather dusty today, aren't they, Godwoken? May I offer you anything to drink? He pours two glasses of wine, hands you one with a polite nod of the head. Cheers! The echo of your glasses clinking billows through the forest, disharmonized only by the vicious chattering of demon teeth. To your very good health, I'm sure. Now then, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jehan. Above all, I am a demon hunter. Underneath it all, I am what those with a flair for hyperbole call a master of the source. Of course you are. That is what God can do. The answer to your next question, by the by, is yes, I will teach you if you do something for me first. Quid pro quo, I'm afraid. A tad vulgar of me, that much I admit. But needs must when the demon drives. It will come as no surprise, I suppose, that it is a demon that drives me to seek your benevolence. I've been hunting him for a long time. And now I've managed to track him down to the island over yonder. He points towards the northeast. You see nothing in that direction but grey water and a thick mist in which ghoulish shapes seem to form and fade. I know it's there. My caged guests have confirmed as much. But to my great frustration, I cannot reach my goal. Death fog surrounds the island, and through death fog even I cannot pass. That is where you come in. The answer is no less prosaic than for it to die, I'm afraid. But trust me, the death of one will deliver the souls of very many. Consider it a test. Kill the demon, and I will be your teacher. Then let me shake your hand and describe your target. The demon's guise, or vessel, one can't be quite certain, is that of a lizard known only as the Advocate. Like all of his ilk, he is kind, he is charming. He will offer you what you desire most at seemingly no cost at all. There is no such thing as no cost at all. My advice is to strike before he even has a chance to speak. But should you choose to disregard me, should you allow him to parley, all you have to do is say no. Above all else, remember that. Death fog obscures any approach and hangs thick over the collapsed bridge that led to the isle from the Driftwood Road. There is more than the mist alone there. Magic that evades my eyes. I also spotted a sloop further down the shoreline. But of course, a quiet afternoon's boating trip will be quite ruined once one hits death fog shrouded waters. It is a place of irony, if you will. Once the site of an academy dedicated to the art of demon hunting, now the remnant of a dream sliced open into nightmare. Rumor has it 
An exorcism went wrong there long ago, and for a short time a great demon stood unopposed. Had it not been for Dr. Deva, the entirety of Reaper's Coast could have looked like Blood Moon Island looks today. He contained the demon and its blood spawn to the doomed shores of the isle, surrounded it with death fog, and never looked back. I met him once, during a soiree in Arcs. Quite the eccentric is Dr. Deva. But then again... He looks you up and down. Aren't we all? He smiles, like one would at a child, asking about the birds and the bees. I know, because I've known others like you. Those whose fates are chained, for better or for worse, to that of the gods themselves. I have battled the foe of foes, and conquered it. For a while. I have sat in perfumed gardens with the source herself, drank life from her very lips. I have seen well over two thousand springs, and will continue to do so until time itself closes its weary eyes. Trust me, I know what you are, and what you can be. May you wander in wisdom. Nothing good will come of speaking. They'll talk themselves out of that cage if you let them. You'll be their key before you know it. <laughs> 